All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So I was a little behind. I wanted to make this one last week, but I didn't. But I think today is actually a perfect day for it, all right? So I'm going to look at some EV and charging. I'm going to look at Rivian and Lucid. I'm going to look at EVgo and ChargePoint. And obviously, I'm going to kind of keep pack up packing, peaking in and out between those and Tesla, all right? So as I am speaking right now, Tesla is doing their earnings. That's a pretty big drop right there. And clearly it's not a significant percentage, right? And you know, I always say ignore post-market and this and that, right? But yeah, this is earnings, this is a big moment. And hey, if we lose that 20 moving average, it's a pretty hard, f green, 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 green will be a red, 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 red from roughly 235 all the way down to maybe 207. All right, so um, right now this is not looking pretty. I have a couple headlines that I'll flash from my phone. The big, big thing that I'm seeing right now is earnings per share was missed, all right? I say this on every single earnings video. I don't care if you're a big blue chip like Tesla or a small penny stock like whatever, all right? EPS, earnings per share, are the three most important letters in, in, in earnings. They really, really are. And they tend to, they don't always, but they tend to dictate what up and down um, will do, all right? So that's the big, big early flash there, all right? So Rivian. Rivian had some big news, and let's be honest, it's been doing very well since the news, right? So it's a little bit hard for me to decide what I'm gonna say on this video. It's really gonna come out almost live and organic as I, as I continue on, right? But what's gonna matter more? The Rivian news and connections and, and investment and all that sort of stuff that, that really made the end of June a beautiful time for Rivian, or is that Tesla fall going to bring down the rest of the EVs, right? With Lucid, I think I'm going to lean a lot more on, um, on Tesla, all right? Because let's just look at this view right here, and let's just look at Tesla right there. Oh, nope, wrong. T-S-L-A, sorry. Tesla basically end of June all the way up, right? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lucid end of June all the way up. And I'm not too sure that this one had news. I think this one was piggybacking a little bit on Rivian, piggybacking a little bit on Tesla. And now I'm a little worried that that basically this right here, we'll talk about it, but 333, 333, give or take, is, is gonna be an interesting point right there, all right? The last two look a little better, all right? EVgo does look like it's it's just been bouncing on the eight really well, a little bit under, never confirmed, trying to make its way back up. We'll talk about that. And then charge point, man, charge point has just been in the moving averages, makes a nice little move. And hey, it is now trying to test a break of all the moving averages, right? So um, interesting little recovery here too, right? This one's an exciting one to talk about, but a little bit longer of an intro than normal, or opening thoughts than normal, but before we do go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? The same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can, please subscribe to this channel. Share this video online with your friends. Comment good or bad if you disagree, but anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, and I am so, so grateful for any of it, all right? So let's get into it, and look, even though I'm talking about these four stocks, really, Tesla is taking a lot of the attention, all right? So we, we close. Basically, what we've just been doing is bouncing on the eight like a champion, go under, don't lose it, kind of battle, 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 battle. But right now, as I am speaking, we are in the middle of earnings, all right? So there was this quick moment where it looks like we slipped just below the 20 moving average. It's kind of trying to make a little recovery, but um, I'm not seeing some good headlines, right? Like I obviously don't care about the earnings. I'm making this video, not listening to it, right? But I saw something about deliveries being a little bit lower. Um, I definitely saw that earnings per share was missed and I can't stress it enough. EPS, earnings per share, is such an important, such an important piece of, of the earnings disclosure, all right? I haven't seen anything about guidance, right? That's, that's what, what they think of the future and, and comments about the future, right? I think one important thing to note is, look, 
Tesla is obviously very, very much Elon connected. Elon has very, very loudly put his flag down on the Donald Trump you know, campaign, right? If Trump wins, oh man, Tesla's gonna go next level with their stock price. If Trump loses, I'm not necessarily gonna say that Tesla's gonna crash, like that would be a very, 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 very silly comment, right? But hey, he's not gonna get the big tax incentives and the and the breaks and the, you know, you know, maybe government grants and this and that that he probably would have otherwise. You know what I mean? So just kind of keep the election in your back pocket, especially with Tesla, right? So um, with that, let's move it to Rivian. And man, my Rivian thoughts are, are a little 50-50. And I kind of hinted at that in the beginning of the video, right? Um, as I'm looking at this chart, I, I am looking at a stock that is over all five moving averages. It hasn't as beautifully as I would love confirmed, right? Like that's a good candle. That's not confirmation. That's not even that good a candle. That's a doji that don't count. That's the only good candle. We wick my top 18 and then we obviously never confirm and just a whole mess of like uncertainty after that, right? I can't tell if I'm going to give tesla the weight and the power and the crown that that comes with it on the ev sector if tesla goes up ev goes up if tesla goes down ev goes down it just it is kind of what it is right can rivian break that cycle does rivian have enough good news right enough momentum overall the moving averages on the daily right where are we on the weekly oh man we were testing and testing and you can see there is no 200 moving average right so oh my kitty's at the door i'm so sorry let me let her in what are you doing do you want to come in she said no she just wanted to meow and interrupt the flow i'm so sorry um, the Rivian was coming up to the very last on the weekly, right? Already over them all on the daily. I'm not sure. And, and really, you can see it. That 1880 is the money line. That's, that's such a big money line on Rivian, all right? I think the one thing I'd want to say is I don't think it's going to go lower than 1460, all right? Now, clearly, I just talked about how it didn't really confirm and it didn't really like break them all and, and do that well over the 200. We never get that back-to-back -back candle. But I think we've got the 20, and I, I don't think I clearly see it. We have the 20 moving average right here. We've got a nice little 1550 support and we've got the, the 200 below it, right? Also, I don't know if it's gonna continue all the way, but that 50 is kind of making its way on up, right? So I think I'm cool saying we're not gonna go lower than 50. 1460 all right um but yeah again tesla wears the crown and when you have bad earnings you tend to go down for the next three months until the next earnings comes right so just 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 keep that tesla momentum in your back pocket and see what it does to rivian all right look we had a super high rsi at an 85 we come down and we're still at a pretty healthy 69 right the one thing i don't really like I kind of see red over green on the MACD and it kind of looks like an ugly RSI and volumes definitely not what it was during that that end of June to, to most of July run, right? Like we are nowhere near the, the 50 day line, let alone as many green buying days, right? So Rivian starting to turn just a little bit and my concern is that Tesla earnings might might bring it down. Hopefully the lowest we go is the 200. Hopefully the 200 is a very strong line and, and we can bounce from there, right? Otherwise, I think I would I would lean to there. I'm not even gonna say that number because that's far too low to even think about at the moment, all right? So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's take a quick look at Lucid here, all right? And and yeah, Lucid, I'm not liking much, really. I don't even know how, how long of a video this is gonna be, but um, I, I don't believe Lucid ran for, for any good reason. Lucid, excuse me, had an amazing channel. Again, a channel is nothing more than two lines, whether it's horizontal ones that I draw or, hey, the distance between that line and that line. And that's exactly what we had. The blue 100 moving average was all the way down here. The purple one was all the way up there. And man, that made such a beautiful run. 
And we even got a little bit of a pop once we got over all five, right? Definitely didn't confirm, definitely have made our way back down. And really, this is what I think Rivion might end up doing. I'm not, you know, we'll see how it reacts, but I feel like I just finished saying that I think Rivion's gonna maybe come down there, hopefully at the lowest. Lucid's already there. I don't think we hold this. I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm worried that green, green, green turns into a pretty scary red red. I actually think this comes down as low as 290. I do, and again, I think a lot of that is because Tesla's after hours earnings are not looking great. I'm not sure if Tesla can hold the 20. If Tesla can't hold the 20, green, green, green will be a scary red, red, red down. And I think that will very, very quickly drag Lucid down with it, all right? So this one is actually scaring me. This one I don't think went up for any reason. I think it's not gonna, it's gonna go down for, again, no reason. But both of those, the reason was Tesla, right? So kind of short and sweet here, but yeah, let me know if you disagree. Hey, let me know if there was some news that I actually missed and maybe I, right, I'm not perfect, I'm not, right? So let me know if there was something I missed, but yeah, I think this one's very, very dictated on, on Tesla, all right? EVGO is an interesting one right here, and EVGO has made some nice moves, right? You get a big candle over the 200, doji, doji, that's a nice candle after two dojis right there, and we even get some nice follow through, right? Though we find ourselves three days under the eight moving average listen none of those are confirmation right doji don't count doji don't count for a second time i would actually say that's a decent candle after two dojis right could have been better and if it got over the eight moving average it would have been better but hey that's decent and i'll take decent for sure all right so real quick if you can subscribe if you can share that'd be much much appreciated all right so look that same june till till basically middle of july run right we saw it with rivion boom right we saw it with lucid no lcid right boom we saw it with tesla boom right and now we're there with ev go all right i i can't keep stressing it enough the tesla earnings don't look good tesla earnings actually has me thinking 210 is a real possibility there 210 dollars um, I don't know if if Lutz, sorry if Tesla is going to drag down EVgo or if this thing actually has some good charts and good power, right? RSI was as high as a 91. We came down to a very healthy 72. We're making our way up, and look, even though we're at a 77, I do see a little peaking green there, right? But I think I think this might be a little too high. Yeah, we need at least that. We need at least 380 to start believing that the that the, the run's going to go up. I think that this will probably come down to like 310. I think 310 is a decent number. I'm actually starting to see the 50 moving average come up, right? Like this goes exponential. This takes a little bit of time and then it starts. This one's kind of coming behind it. I just... I, I, I don't know if there was news or if this is just a Tesla copycat. And I think I'm going to lean towards maybe coming down. I think the same thing I'm going to say with Rivion, though. I don't think this is going to go any lower than 260. Hopefully, we actually don't even go any lower than 290, all right? But let me know if there was news on this one. Otherwise, I'm a little worried on EV specifically, given what it's looking like to, uh, on Tesla, all right? So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Charge point, man. This is a this is a this is a nice chart right here, and and it's it's just so frustrating to see a nice chart and have a little bit of a hesitation because of nothing to do with this chart or stock at all, right? I'm obviously talking about Tesla. Um, real quick, if you can subscribe, if you can share, oh, it does wonders with the algorithms. All right, so look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. We haven't touched this purple line. We haven't touched the 200 moving average since all the way in February of 2023. That's a long, long time, all right? We actually found ourselves closing over it well once and clearly actually closing over it those four days, right? Today being the fifth one. So the fact that ChargePoint is battling this 200 and, and arguably battling it well is, is, a, is a very, very interesting thing. Again, I think this one's a lot like EVgo and I'm probably gonna just group the two of them. Both of them got to a really high RSI, came down, right? Looking at charge point, got to a really high RSI and made its way down, right? This thing had nice, nice spacing between the 100 and the 200. That's the same thing I said about Lucid, right? 
Nice, lucid. Go from the 100 to the 200. You got good spacing. You got good things happening in the sector. It's, it's going to make the stock go up, right? My concern right now simply is Tesla, 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 all right? And let me know if ChargePoint had some news on its own, but this is the exact same June to July run that we're seeing across all of these. Right now, I have to give the power to the king, right? To the queen for my ladies out there. Right now, that's Tesla. And we need to see how the how the crown reacts, but um, it's not looking good, and, and and it has to sprinkle fear across the rest. All right, so let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, hey, I appreciate you so so much.